Welcome once again to The Carpenter Shop. We're growing, we're becoming, we're doing some things here. And here in The Carpenter Shop, we are stretching um, who we are in a spiritual sense so we can become the people we were created to be. Let me read you a verse, Romans 8, 37. It says, Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. Go back with me in time to the American Revolution. The Continental Army under George Washington made an almost miraculous retreat from Brooklyn across Manhattan. But they were badly outnumbered by the British troops. Washington wrote, If every nerve is not strained to recruit a new army with all possible expedition, I think the game is pretty nearly up. You can form no idea of the perplexity of my situation. No man, I believe, ever has had a greater choice of difficulties and less means to extricate himself from them. <laughs> Washington wrote a ton in that letter. Notice what he says, the perplexity of my situation. He was saying, I'm overwhelmed. Nobody's had it this rough, this tough, this is bad. Now, I'm sure other people have had it rough and tough and bad. When Washington says no one has ever had it that bad, uh, you know, he might be able to build a case for that. It was rough. But by the same token, Washington also had a firm grip on the truth of the providence of God. And because of that truth, he was anchored and refused to give up. If we keep a firm grasp on the sovereignty of God, we'll not give up. God has created us um, for success. He has created us for greatness, not by our definition, but by His definition. He has promised to bless us, and He's promised to be present, ever present in our lives. If we could embrace that and allow that to form around us, that would help no matter what situation you're in, no matter how perplexed, no matter how simple, no matter how overwhelming, and no matter how satisfying the situation is. God is present in every one of them. And so, General Washington certainly had it bad. I bet you in your life you've had some moments that weren't Washington moments bad, but some pretty bad moments. And yet in those moments, God showed up, didn't He? And He continues to show up for you today. Remember that. Hold on to that. Share that hope with others that you meet. And as you do, you'll be impacting the world with the love of Christ. I'll join you next time here in the Carpenter Shop.